Ooh. We keep we keep these down there because it's hotter. Okay. Because they don't have any quills or anything yet. And her name will be. <laughs> we call her May May. Yeah, May May. Or Junior. Oh. <laughs> My nephew is going to mom. So yeah. he's not an anger. How old are these collars? About two weeks. Almost two weeks. Yeah, two weeks old. And they eat every two hours. And in about three to four weeks, they go to this size right here. And the only reason why you have to uh, obviously hand feed is to the Jerry had me so terrified to do this that uh, I just told Chad, I can't do it, Chad, I can't do it. See how easy it is? Once you get the touch. Okay, then I just, I just record everything. I weigh in in the morning. You have to weigh in empty. Ten times. Ten shots. And you put this, we put this rubber in the bottom because something happens to their feet and their legs if you don't. Yeah. Dad would have to tell you that, but you know, it's just that shelf, the you rubber that you the, put in the shelves. Right, right. You need the airflow. I think it keeps their legs from spreading out or something. Oh. Do they sleep afterwards? Oh yeah, they sleep a lot. And I mean, sometimes when they get big enough, they will just hang over the edge of the bones. I mean, you would think that they're dead. Now to shoot your wife want to breed? Or she just want a pet? Does she want to breed birds or does she just want yeah, a pet? pet. Is this the Solomon's um, practice? Yeah. 
Right, right. Step up. Step okay. up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Give him a okay. finger instead of a okay. hand. This is Mufasa. Good looking boy. Yes. Oh, just say love you. Beautiful. Love you. Love you. Love you. See how uh, curled his toes are? Yeah. So she's taking advantage of that. She's slightly weaker. Mm -hmm. And pushes him around a little bit. Okay. She won't actually bite it. She's going for that other one okay. by itself. Oh, got it. Okay. But they really can't bite hard. So, mm -hmm. again, right? they can't even. Yeah. Really great, straight through a break. Oh, you have one. Oh. Okay, okay. I think we can see. I'll show you guys on the cameras in the house before you guys leave. So would this be your, um, the first crack? Boy, they seem happy in there. They really, look at that, yeah. She's in there on, a, on two eggs. There's a, actually their third egg is right here on the ground. It was infertile and they tossed it. And I'm hoping that's why they knew that it was infertile. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. What he's gonna do is call for you. She might come out if he starts calling. Oh, changed his mind. And again, he has no tail just from the nesting. The tail breaks off. And they actually lose their feathers in their belly. It's called brooder belly and it's from sitting on the eggs. So, he had a long tail. Oh, I thought she was coming. Kind of long tree. But normally outside of eating season, they're perfectly feathered and beautiful, but right now they're kind of raggedy. Right, right. And they, I'm guessing they make less noise too, right? Or if, they're, just, uh, if they're single. He, he's um, doing that. Is he doing that because we're, we're new? Yeah, oh, oh, exactly. Okay, it's more if, worm If new. I come down here and look, he won't do it. Sometimes they don't snore or anything. So, okay. come here, girls. <laughs> but she's debuting in a show, Lexus the Puppy, wow. um, on the East Coast. There's three shows back to back. She's going out about four weeks earlier for 
cracks with the handler. Yeah. Handler's coming from Japan for the shows. Um, I'm not paying for this. <laughs> her, she's, her father's only two puppies away from a sire of merit. Wow. So we're, and she's got the best potential out of the litter, her and her brother, that looks wow. just like her. So there, he actually has. Oh, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> 12 goes, we've had six. Oh, six. Yeah, you don't get much out of the big birds. They're hard to breed. Uh, Swainson's, is it is better, um, I, I guess, more eggs? No. Are they just compatible enough yeah. to, yeah. to breed? Yeah, yeah you don't know when you get a pair of birds. Yeah. The little guys, the two canes and are much easier to breed than the big two cans. Much, much easier. Um, and I'm not sure why that is. Uh, you can get on the <laughs> we have single birds. Well, there aren't any other channel boats in the country. All the ones that are here are I have, except for Donald's Will and Fun. And uh, Chad, for example, has been begging me for a pair, and I won't sell them to him. So I've got all the parrots I want. Probably got too many. And, uh, but the two cans don't have the virus. Right. So there's no PDD, polyomas, etc. The things the two cans are going to have are going to be intestinal parasites, which all birds get. Okay. And we deworm everything. We do a fecal on all the birds. Because you're looking at a snapshot of, say, one day, and you can have worms in a bird that are laying eggs, but that day they didn't. So you can't find the eggs in the species. That's how you find out they have parasites. You're looking for an egg in the worm, and you can identify the worm by the shape of the egg. Right, right. So we're looking for the eggs. We don't find them. We, uh, we typically will peek along when they arrive, and then we'll deworm them a few days later. And then for 4,000, I get it. Mm -hmm. And I may do that because they're harder to breed than the short person. See, really, huh? Yeah, I'll call it the crows or something. I just like the name. <laughs> you know, the crows are the name. <laughs> see some older ones around the Oh, okay. And we'll, they're in here for three weeks, and then they go to our other nurseries. How much do you guys want these things to us? The bird? Yeah. Not three years off. Okay, we'll go down to the ocean. Thank <laughs> you. 